So in this video, we're looking at how we can export media, so that's uh, images and video from Twinmotion, so that it can be used outside of Twinmotion. So here we can see we've got a scene, um, and this is probably a scene I want to take an image of. So I've set the camera pretty much where I want it to be, and down the bottom here I've got this media button, so I'll click on that, and then I can either take uh, images or videos, and a few other things we can do as well. But for this one, we're going to just do uh, images and videos. So with my image then, I'm going to take a snapshot and that's like ta a camera taking a picture and that's my image there what i might then want to do is move uh, and take another one so i'm going to come up over here and then i might want to take another image of the swimming pool area and i'll just take another one there now once we've got these images uh, taken when, when we've got them highlighted we can actually start changing things that won't affect the, the main uh, project so in here for instance we could change the the weather uh, we could actually have it so it's snowing or it's snowed uh, and then have it so it's actually snowing itself um, and then uh, if I quit that media I'm back to where I was um, so I can go back to this view here which is um, the first image I took and then back to the second one so once you've got the image taken when you're in this image you can start adjusting things so you've got all the bits and pieces up here with the image and the render and the camera positions and stuff like that you can do and you can start changing things um, that's your uh, images that's how you take images um, to take a video um, we click on the video button and this is going to be my starting point of the video uh, so this is where I want to be uh, making my video start from so once I've done this uh, I just click uh, the, the, the plus button and um, this is now uh, the first part of the video. I can now start moving. I'm going to start moving as if I'm flying along and taking another point there. And these are like waypoints, really. Um, what Twin Motion will do is then start sitting all together and working out where it is you want your. Um, image to be taken from so you'll take a lot more time over this than I am I'm sure um, I'm just trying to rush through this just so it's not quite so boring for you guys watching this a few more and you'll get the idea And last of all, we'll have one looking out to see. That's the video taken now. Uh, so what we can do now is we can drag the slider and bring it back to the, the start again. And I can press play. And you'll see that it's moving really fast, way too fast for the video that we want. To, so to slow that down, just let it finish. Way too quick. So to slow that down, if I take this slider back to the start again, I've got this time length here. That's the whole length. That's the time of the whole length of the video. So at the moment it's at 10 seconds. If I change that down to 35, this is an example, and then hit play again, you can see that we're now a lot slower. And you could slow it down even further just by extending that time. And again, you would take more time in placing your waypoints so that um, you're capturing the bits that you want to capture. And that's our video taken back now looking at C. So to export all these then, so I'm just going to quit that media mode. So I've got the videos here. This is what I did earlier because um, when we come to export, you'll see in a minute why I did one earlier because it takes a little while to download. So we'll start off with the images. So I've got these two images here that I want to export. So I come out of media and I open up export. And... Um, in here, I've got one of those selected. I want to unselect that because that's the video. I don't want the video. I want these images. So I open up the images and click on both of these. So you can either just select all or just manually select them depending on how many you've got. And then uh, I've got two images selected. I can change the format if I want to, and then just hit Start Export. I'm going to save mine to the desktop. I'll select that folder. And then both of those images will now be um, on the desktop. It does take a little while, depending on the speed of your computer. So if I now open up my desktop, you can see I've now got these images. 
So this is image here. That's the first one I took. And I've then got the second one that I took as well. Yep. So that's how they, they can then be used elsewhere. So you could put them into a PowerPoint or you might want to put them into a Revit sheet. Um, to do the video, it's exactly the same thing. The only thing you do need to be aware of is when you come to export um, video, for instance, you'll, you'll click on the video and you want to add uh, videos you want to put in there. Um, when, you, when you click on this uh, video, for instance, we just did here, when you come back to here, can you see we've still got the um, images selected? So you do need to go in there and deselect all of those, or otherwise you'll be downloading those again. So just be aware of that, that these two blue buttons, when they're both highlighted, you'll be downloading from both things. And you'll go in the same way, you can change the format and then start exporting. I won't do that on this one because it takes a few minutes to do that. But if I go back to my um, desktop, you can see this video that I did earlier. And that's one that's been downloaded uh, in exactly the same format. And away you go. And then you can then use that video video outside of Twinmotion as well. And that is how you use uh, Twinmotion to export images and videos.